Greetings, welcome to the WordPress Content Crawler Academy. Today, we will focus on how to add products from eBay.com. WordPress Content Crawler is a WordPress plugin for your websites, and by using it, you automatically get content from almost any site to your WordPress site. If you would like to buy the plugin or try out the demo or read our beautiful guides, the links are at the description below. Let's get started. One of the great uses of WordPress Content Crawler is to be able to get products from e-commerce websites and whole process is directly integrated to WooCommerce. If you don't know what WooCommerce is, it's a free e-commerce platform that puts everything in order for you. So as a first step, we will go on and download it to our WordPress site. Now go to plugins, click add new and search for WooCommerce. Okay, here it is. You can install it and activate it right away. It's free and it's very useful if you're dealing anything with e-commerce. Now let's move on with the WordPress content scroller. I will click on add new site. A little note, if you are not familiar with the WordPress content crawler plugin or the CSS selectors, then you might want to check out our quick start guide for the plugin and CSS selector videos. I will drop the links to the description below or just follow me through this video and you will know what to do. For a site name, I will type eBay for the URL. I will go with the ebay.com and remove everything else this is just ebay.com nothing else don't type anything else than the domain here for the category url i will go with the mask category just randomly picking anything since this is popular right now sadly i will go with this copy and paste the category link and one little note for you don't mix the category with the post section this is a category page where the post links are this is a post page where your actual content is whatever it is product image text you can find in the post page okay now i will be choosing a category post url selector here in order to test it i will copy paste the same url here this is just for testing so we will see visually what's going on i will open the visual inspector here here i can click on the item links it came up with a selector okay our selector is here let's test it it seems okay i can just copy paste and see if this working actually just randomly everything seems okay hide it just in case if you would like to crawl all the other pages in the category we will check out next page url selectors Next page URL selectors helps us select the two, three or whatever page we are on. I will quickly inspect the page. You have two options you can use here or you can actually go and inspect by yourself if you can come up with something. Right here. Here you can see selected in the class name. You will always see something like selected or active. So we want something after this. So I will just copy paste this one here. Okay. I just want to get the next anchor tag and it seems to work in very well. Now it finds the A. Let's copy paste here. See? It shows it. Let's test it. It will test according to the test category URL. It finds the page 2. I will copy paste page 2 if I can find page 3. Page 3. That's it. Very easy. Now let's go to the post page. Here I will be using post link. I picked this one, the first one actually. Copy paste it. I need to find the post title. I will just copy paste this one. And here it is. It's already found for us automatically. Sometimes the selector, the visual selector will find it for us. Try it. Or here is your selector alternatives. You can pick any of those. Or you can inspect the website and come up with your own selector. My suggestion would be stay away from the child selectors because they are not flexible. Approve it. Since this is a product page, I will not be dealing with the content, excerpt, tag, anything for now because I'll be using WooCommerce. I will show you how. So what else we can do? We can come up with a featured image because my team will ask for a featured image for the product. I clicked on the save featured image if it is not found on category page. You can do the same thing on category page as well. Featured image selectors, visual inspector again, images here. Whenever I click, alternatives appear on the right side. You have to open from here and images ready. Let's test it. 
Okay, it came up with the same two links. No problem. I will copy paste and try it. It seems okay. I will give you a quick tip now. As you can see on the original page, image resolution is bigger and better. So let's inspect it. Here is our link. The link is exactly the same except from this L300 and L500 parts. From this, I can understand that the database contains both of the resolutions of the Im same image. I can go for 200, it's available too. I will try 600, it's available too, okay? What I will do, I will get the image as 300, just copy paste it here, test featured image URL, and use the find and replace option here. This is a little cool box. I want to find L300 on the links I'm getting, and I want to replace it with L600. Let's test it. See, it's 600 now. Let's test it now. It works like magic. You have learned a cool trick now. Let's move on. Okay, we have the title, we have the image, we need the product specifications. Now I will directly go to the WooCommerce, but I will not be clicking here. So before I do anything, I like to save my work. In order to save your work, three things are needed. Main URL, page, category and post. This is what we need. If you are missing any of these URLs, plugin will warn you make sure you fix it before you try to save it i will click on publish okay site publish no problem i will move on and activate my woocommerce inside wordpress content scroller how will i do this i will go to main section click on use custom general settings and the moment you click here there's a green window appears here click on it this is just for this website from here i can change settings only for ebay if you want to apply as general settings you should use here now i will click on load general settings this is default settings i have it ready i want to change only one thing here i will come down here under post settings you will see post type click on this window and select product Two notes here, if WooCommerce is not installed on your website, you will not see product and the other post types under it. Now that the product activated, we will quick save it by clicking the little tick here. This little tick will work after publishing your work for once. This little tick will save our work without needing of refreshing the page. Now let's check out post page. Okay, we're on the post page, just refresh the page for once. Here I can see the WooCommerce interface inside the plugin with our plugin options with visual inspector and test options. If we hadn't activated the product like I just did now, you wouldn't be able to see this interface. Just a note. Now from now on, REST is same as working on WooCommerce. Even if you are not experienced with it, it's pretty straightforward. So let's move on. Regular price selectors, click on it. Prices here, click on this one. Item prop price, looks very nice. Test it, it came up with the price, perfect. Hide it. Okay, this part is important. Whatever price you're getting, it might be US, it might be sterling, pound, anything. You might wanna remove anything except the number part just to avoid any problems with WooCommerce. WooCommerce is expecting numbers and decimals only. So we will delete the other parts than the numbers and we will do it by clicking the options here. These options will only apply to regular price selectors here. I like to find and replace. I'm expected to find US and change it to nothing. As you can see, it's deleted. You can do the same thing for GBP. Obviously, it doesn't change. And dollar sign as well. Okay. Now, all together, I will test it. It will only come up with the number. You can write as much as you want to remove from here. And only the number we need the price and the inventory part same goes for the stock quantity for example this will come up with more than 10 available i only want the number go to options again so here for those of you who is familiar with the regular expressions you can just click here and write down your own regular expression here it's more efficient if you have no clue about it just don't tick it and write down anything is possible like more add new then 
available. Close this part, test it. We are left with 10 only, okay? You can just manually remove anything that comes along with the number and you'll be fine. Don't forget to save it. If there is sale price, you can select this one as well. In this particular item, we don't have it. I will move on to inventory now. SKU selectors. SKU is stock keeping unit, like a barcode of your own. Uh, if it is available, you can pick it up from here. I don't see anything usable as a SKU. You can select it from WooCommerce after you publish it. You can play around, no problem. Manage stock, you can select the quantity. Stock, for example, we have more than 10 available. Let's get this one, test it, more than 10 available, good. Back orders, you have options, threshold sold individually. This is all WooCommerce. If you have any questions, just Google it for one minute. It's very easy. Shipping, we can get the size information for shipping. Obviously for a mask, this is not a huge concern. So I will just skip on it. And there is no information available on the page for this one. Attributes parts. I need to arrange two things, name and the value. For name, I will go down a bit and go with this one. Okay, this is the name. Just one click, we get it. Test it. Everything seems fine. The value selector. Okay, the structure of the value seems a bit different. Let's investigate it. Go to inspection, click on this. Now this one is under this H2 tag and span. But I cannot get this one because this is not under H2. So we cannot, we have to write multiple selectors. To select all of them no problem at all this is not a problem now with this one i get to use like five of them here let's see if it is really like this okay approve it i have five of them hide it add new write another selector here how about this one two more under h2 tag this is completely depending on the structure of the website. Be it generic, don't try to be very specific with it. Get what you can with selectors. Make sure they are not too specific because you have to consider using it all the other post pages. We are not trying to get only one page. Okay, now I got one value from this one, two from here and five from here. We are good to go. Custom attributes with selectors. Here, if you want to add like something else for your own attributes, you can write it down or select it. And this is for separators. If you want to use like a space, you want to use something semicolon, anything. Advanced parts. This is for purchase note. If there is anything like estimated delivery date, anything or thank you, anything on the page, you can select. You can write custom notes, enable reviews. This is all WooCommerce. Okay, guys. Now we are ready to test all of it. Click on quick save here. Otherwise, your settings will not be saved. Now I show you how to test it. Click on tester. Open it on a new page. Click on it. Your eBay is here. Post page. It's asking for a post page. Okay. I will go to my post link. Copy paste it basically. Test it. It came up with the image, featured image, price, product URL, anything really is virtual now. Stock, back orders, no allow, shipping class not determined, attributes here, reviews are not allowed, and featured image is here. I will check my category page. What I am expecting from a category page test, I need to be able to get the links of the posts. It seems like I got a lot of links. It's supposed to be products. Very nice. And next page URL, we can go to the second page. It works like magic. Let's go there. Everything seems to be working. Very nice. I will just test a, a random post. This is just random post. As you can see, I didn't do any specific arrangement on this one. Now it seems to be working very well. Now let's see how it looks on my page within the theme. Open the tools here. Now we need to enter any post URL here. I will just go with this one. 
scroll now it is ready click on link below i have the title the image the number of the price the stock value we have the condition material anything i made the settings on another post but everything works is how it's supposed to be on this post page as well amazing now as last steps you check your general settings if it, the scheduling is active arrange your collection and crawling intervals and make sure the website you're working on is active for scheduling otherwise you will not get any content quick save it and we are ready to go just go to dashboard and watch it come feel free to ask anything comment and try out our demo guys you can check out the description below there are lots of good things for you subscribe to wordpress content crawler channel so you know when we add more content here and you will be able to use the plugin like a boss see you on the next one bye bye